In this help video, I want to talk a little bit about how you add content to your website via articles, news, or pages. Articles, news, and pages can all be found inside your content menu from the admin bar. And to add a new one, you would simply click the green button to add a new page, news, or article item. The way those pages, articles, and news are used in your site is a little bit different, but adding content to them is very similar. News items would be stories that were about your community and your organization or written by your marketing and PR team that talk about what's going on. Articles can be a lot like blog posts or they can be updates or announcements for members. They're very good for a number of different just general content items that you guys are going to be posting frequently. And then pages are the core of the content on your site. As you know, there's the home page and then there's internal pages. And those pages, when you add a new page, automatically go up into the main navigation menu options so that you can then add it to the main menu and other navigations if you'd like. To come over and see the inside of each of these, here's adding a page. The body and the style for adding them is very similar. Each of them will have a title bar and you can type the title of the page and then the URL path will automatically be generated for you. If you want to change it though, you simply go in and you can make the URL whatever custom URL you would like to do. And then you can add the body of the content. You're able to do a lot inside this WYSIWYG editor which is very much like going into a Word document or if you've been on a WordPress website before and done any content updates. This is starting to become more universal for adding and editing uh, text and images on the web. So you'll have seen some of these where you can bold and italicize, underline your text. You've got your options for formatting based on the size of the header or paragraph. There's bullets, tables, centering things. You can paste from Word if you're pasting from a Word document and it will remove some of that formatting that Word likes to add in. You can even change the color of your text here. One of the cool things that you're able to do is upload and insert media. So you can come in and upload spreadsheet templates and PDFs and we'll open up a couple and insert them. So here's a PDF and a spreadsheet. And when I insert those, you see they put the little graphic next to it that shows that this is a CSV spreadsheet file and here's a PDF so that members, when you save this, can go in and download and pr use the documents, fill them out, submit them, read what information is on them, however you've been trying to use them. You can also go into the WYSIWYG editor and edit the source code and you see we've got some of the HTML in there and if you wanted to edit or add anything there, you could do that. Tags allow people to search by them, so we could have one called document downloads, and then anytime I added a page or an article item with this tag, it would become searchable. And then here's your permissions. Each page, article, and news content item has these content specific permissions based on groups, members, or individual users being able to view or change them, or you can have the public view them. And this allows you to really customize what you're putting up there. You can have internal documents that only your staff should be seeing. You can have a volunteer group with volunteer updates for an event for what the different roles should be that only those volunteers are able to view and, and see. And it gives you a lot of flexibility and protection in controlling the content that you have online so you can access the information from any internet capable device anywhere for your organization and know that only those people who should have access to it do. We also have the ability here to add different categories and adding a new category is very easy. You simply type that in 
and it shows up in the Dropbox. And this is a new site that we're setting up. So that's the first category and subcategory we've added. You can add a second one, same way. And now they both will show up. And this will now be saved on your site across all pages. When you come down to categories, those options will be there. And then you have the ability to add SEO meta. If you've got somebody helping you or if you're familiar with using search engine optimization keywords, then you would basically want to have those keywords and come in for the page based on what is going on with the page, the canonical URL, description, and that helps make sure you get found in the search engines. So you can add the page. And you'll see this is what it looks like with these hyperlinks to download these files. And we can also come up here to the main navigation. And you'll see that now the new page is available if we want to add it to our main navigation items. So adding content via articles and news is very similar and the only difference between articles and news and pages is how the content can be displayed on your site. Articles and news do not get added to the navigation menu page so you would not be able to just link them over there. There are tricks to do that and that's in a help file and we can always help you if you have questions about that. And articles also have this summary item so that you can kind of summarize what it's going to be about. It will use that to display a short intro to what it is inside the search box. The same WYSIWYG body, you have the tags. And with articles and news, it has a source and a website for that source in case it's from some other place or someone's contributing to your site with their own content as a release date and time, including the drop down for the time zone. And then you can determine if it's feature content, official content. You can add a contact name for who wrote the article. This is really great for promoting your members and your sponsors if they are going to be guests and contribute to your website with content about them. Here's the information that would be displayed publicly or to anyone who has permissions to view the site. So for example, here, if you set this to be members only, then the contact information in the entire article would only be available for your members to view. So that would be adding an article. And then adding a news story is very much the same as adding an article. You see the body title, it has the source, it also has the release date and the contact information. And the way that the news is a little bit different is that when you set up your set out of the box, it already has the news in here and it will allow you to pull it to the home page on the content. A little bit different from the articles. As I have shown in a previous video with this, you have featured news and featured articles. This lets you customize those two different types of content specifically to pull in how you want to on your site. So inside these spaces, one of them could be articles and the other one could be news. And those could have different topics and themes. For example, your news would be your press releases and what's going on around uh, what your organization is accomplishing. Whereas the articles could be things that are what your members are writing about and contributing to and what information would help with your cause, for example, and how people could get involved. So that's adding content to a tenancy website. And there's a lot more to come in future videos, so keep watching.